Hello everybody. We've got a beautiful uh, new moon in the powerful sign of Scorpio at 19 degrees on November 11th. Scorpio as a water sign I felt I had to be close to water whilst uh, doing this video for you. So Scorpio to me is in fact the most powerful sign in the zodiac. It's really really strong and uh, it doesn't give up, it's relentless, it likes to get to the bottom of things. So with the Sun, Moon and Mercury all in Scorpio at the time of this new moon, this is a wonderful time uh, to look at the way you communicate. The way you communicate to yourself and also to other people because there's an opportunity with Scorpio energy for a great deal of healing to take place. I uh, had a very close friendship with somebody, a triple Scorpio actually, and um, we, we lost our connection for various reasons uh, about 15 years ago. And um, we reconnected this week for several uh, intense days because when you're with a, a Scorpio, uh, life gets intense. And uh, through empathy, through going deeper, through being willing to listen to the things that I had great resistance to. There were certain things she shared with me, uh, financially, money, various things that we had done in partnership that were very painful for me to listen to. But I pushed myself to listen and to empathize, to put myself in her shoes. And um, yes, there were many tears between us over that time period, but there was such an opening and such a healing took place. And now I'm so thankful to say that we're, we're really closer than ever. So for you, uh, during the time of this new moon, what can you do now? Is there somebody that you can heal a deep relationship? Maybe there's been a rift, maybe there's been a cut, a separation. Maybe it's to do with the way you speak to yourself, the way you're treating yourself. Are you always saying, oh, you know, I'm not good enough, I'm not this enough, oh, I shouldn't have done this. This is a wonderful opportunity at the time of this new moon uh, to make a decision to talk to yourself in a kinder, in a gentler way. And as well, this new moon is making a wonderful sextile to Jupiter. So it's time Jupiter is about generosity. Um, I have to say I've, I've received so much generosity from the people here in Greece. I have a lovely taxi driver who I, takes me to the airport when I need to travel. And he rang me and said, could he take me for a coffee? And he brought me a beautiful homemade cake. And then he took me to somewhere in his taxi I needed to go. He wouldn't accept any money. The same with my computer guy here in Greece, Yanis. He fixed something on my computer. I said, how much? He said, nah, nothing, tipota. So what I've noticed is that generosity goes around. Uh, I, I try my best to be very generous with people myself uh, and I'm certainly receiving that. But this is a wonderful opportunity at the time of this new moon to really um, reinvent the way you're generous find new ways of doing it, go more deeply. The other thing that's happening uh, this new moon, because it's Scorpio energy, I would say that, um, that all the time we are getting messages from the universe, all the time. Are we noticing them? Scorpio is going to give you an opportunity to notice more of the messages that are coming to you at this time. So for example, today, I had a sparrow and a butterfly, both sitting very close to one another, um, just outside on my patio. And I also had uh, the blue screen of death happen on my computer just while I was watching these uh, beautiful um, bird and uh, the insect here. Um, and I thought, now, that's a message in that. That's three things happening very close together. And of course, I realized that um, wanting to fly off and to take some time off. I really have. So I allowed myself uh, this afternoon just some time out to relax because there's always more that I can be doing. There's always more videos, there's always more readings, there's always more possibilities here. But sometimes I really just need time for me. So what messages is the universe trying desperately to show you? 
and we can have such a flow in our lives when we see those messages soon, quickly. Sometimes they're piled up and then eventually there has to be a crisis or an emergency because we've not been listening. But if you can listen to those quiet, silent messages, boy, your life can go so much more easily. Things just falling magically into place. One thing to add is that uh, at the time of this new moon, it's quincunx energy uh, to Uranus. Now a quincunx energy um, means that uh, very often there needs to be some kind of a compromise made. So let me give you an example. Uh, maybe you want to be in a relationship with someone, but you end up meeting somebody who lives in another country. So you have to compromise maybe to be in this relationship but being in a long distance relationship. That's a kind of a sort of a compromise there. So what compromises need you make so that things don't blow up on you? Because Uranus does create earthquakes and blow ups. But if you're willing to make certain compromises to see that that may be necessary, then you'll find again that this energy can flow more easily for you. So um, here in Greece, this beautiful, beautiful country where I feel so very welcomed. I'm wondering if in fact it's a Scorpio country. I don't know. Somebody the other day told me it's a Virgo country, but I'd have to say um, it doesn't feel very Virgo here. So um, over to you guys. I always love hearing your comments, your views as to what this new moon in Scorpio can mean for you. Maybe it's in your second house, so a new opportunity to look at your self-esteem, how you value yourself, um, and also your finances. Maybe it's happening in your seventh house of relationships, an opportunity to go more deeply, to look at ways of healing your relationships. Maybe it's in your ninth house, a new opportunity to travel into greater depths with your spiritual self. So there are lots of possibilities and um, it's really good to see if you can where 19 degrees of Scorpio falls in your personal chart. So I'm wishing you a meaningful, healing, beautiful new moon in Scorpio. Lots of love to you. Bye for now.